Hey everyone, Mike Vignola here, and today I'm excited to go through our new sample library, Violent Textures. Violent Textures is powered by the Contact Player and NKS Compatible. We brought in a world-class violinist to perform 12 traditional articulations in unique ways. Violent Textures isn't a traditional string library. Uh, it's really made for creating an ambient textural bed uh, filled with nuance and emotion. In this walkthrough, I'll play through some presets and go over some of the concepts about the library. So let's check it out. Violent Textures uses our Infinite Motion engine. If you'd like an in-depth look at the engine, I'll leave a link in the description below. I timestamped all the parameters so you can really kind of just go through it and get a broader sense of what the capabilities are. Um, for this one, I'm gonna just kind of go through the presets and explain the concepts behind the presets. So I'd like to start um, first with correlated. I'll pull in the flotando texture here. Basically, uh, they're always gonna have the same articulation but what we do with it is we're going to have each side kind of sit in a different space sonically. We might scoop out the low pass filter um, here and leave, leave this full uh, tuned down a, a whole octave with uh, the fine tune knob. Um, you know, there's really, there's, there's no limit to all the things, different things you can try. Um, so I'm going to uh, demonstrate what this sounds like. I'll play through a couple of presets. Next, we'll go through the infinite pads. Um, this is a more, much more experimental approach.
Now we'll go over our pulses. So typically we'll sync the LFO here to the door's tempo. And this created a cool little like uh, clock effect. So dimensions is basically the source material and basically a single layer patch. And this here, your violin textures main is basically a start from scratch option. So you can kind of just do it every, you know, a blank slate here. And our multis are kind of a combination of a couple of different patches. Now I like to go through our evolutionary cycles. Um, we used our non-static sampling process 
for creating this instrument. Um, so you notice uh, we have um, every note, uh, we have a waveform update to show everything was performed slightly different. So if I just, um, over a long period of time too, so our violinist um, held a note for over 30 seconds, some 45 seconds, close to a minute. Um, and every sample, every note we sampled is uh, slightly different in length and dynamically and expressively different as well. So it really does create this kind of feeling of infinite nuance. Um, I'll demonstrate here, as you can see. I just turned off the um, patch on the on the right here just so we can hear one of the articulations alone. So you can see every note we sampled is a little different. So when we play a chord, it creates this, this nice texture. And it always, whatever you press last will pop up. So now what I'm going to do is um, just play through um, this uh, patch. This is basically, there's nothing on it. Um, this is a start from scratch um, patch. I'm just going to hold the chord down and play through the cycle until it repeats. Um, and you can even expand these um, evolutionary cycles by tuning down um, the layer and things like that. Uh, so we can we can try something like that as well, but let's just go through what we have here So the Supan just repeated and Flotando is just about to repeat. So on the, its next cycle, it's it's not repeating the same way because each layer is moving slightly different over time. And also every note we sampled is moving slightly different within the same sound source. So it's gonna have this ever evolving kind of feeling That's it for this video. Thanks for being here. If you found it helpful, give it a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and leave some comments below. We'd love to hear from you. See you on the next one.